Thank you all so much for being here tonight. I'm so glad to see all of you. This is a pixie party. This is for moms and daughters to talk about periods and to empower all tween girls to know how to handle and manage their periods when, when that time comes. We've been doing these for a couple months and we wanted to record it so that all girls everywhere would have access to this information to go over with the trusted females in their life. So thank you guys for taking the time to be here tonight. In front of you, each of you have a My First Period kit. If you want to open that up, we're gonna look inside and you're gonna look for just one thing in there. You're gonna look for the journal. The journal's what we're gonna go through tonight. There's a little note on top for your mom. If you wanna pass that to her, in your journal, there'll be a bracelet that we'll get to in just a little bit, but we're gonna go through this journal together tonight. This will be our outline. Um, and now, before we get started, I just want to acknowledge that talking about periods might feel kind of awkward. That it is something that is private in your life, but that doesn't mean that it's bad or gross or shameful, but it is something that might kind of feel awkward talking about, and that's totally okay. Um, and I also want to acknowledge that I talk about periods all the time. Amber and Jill and I talk about periods every single day. We say words like cervix and vagina and ovaries all the time. So it's not weird for us. So I'm going to remember that this might be kind of awkward and feel kind of different. If you can just remember that I talk about this all the time and it's not weird and awkward for me. I think if we can both remember those things, we'll have a really good night. Okay. Everybody ready to get started? Cool. All right. If you want to open to page one of our journal, I just want you guys to take the time to read this maybe like at home tonight, but I just want to start by saying that your body is amazing. How it was created is perfect. And what we're going to be talking about tonight is your body doing what it was made to do. So just remember that as we go through all of the details of what a period is, why we have it, and what to do when it comes. So we're going to get started by talking about the female anatomy, okay? So if you turn to page four of your journal, what is a period anyways? So there are two different words we can say when we're talking about the same thing, when we're talking about a period. One word is period right? I got my period or I'm on my period. You might have heard your mom or friends or cousins say that. The other word is menstruation. When we say menstruation or period, we're saying the same thing. So let's just remember that as we go through our um, anatomy refresh, okay? So you have this nice little graphic on your journal. I'm going to draw it on the board. So we are going to, you guys are going to love this. It's going to be exactly what it really looks like. Okay, so we have a uterus. Raise your hand if you've heard the word a womb before. A womb, okay, that's where a baby grows. The womb is the same thing as the uterus. It's about the, probably the size of your fist, a little smaller, right down here, right above your pubic bone. Okay, this is your uterus. So this is where the baby grows. Then you have two small organs called ovaries. Okay, these are where the eggs live. Little right. Uterus. And we have an ovary right here. Now that our eggs, you are born right now with all of the eggs that your ovaries will ever have. Okay? Those eggs someday when you're ready have the opportunity to turn into babies, right? So the eggs live in these ovaries and they're connected to these little tubes called fallopian tubes. And they go down into the uterus. All right, so we have, everybody repeat after me. Uterus, uterus. ovary, ovary. Fallopian tubes. Fallopian now, right here, we have another little friend. <laughs> this is called the cervix. The cervix is the gatekeeper to the uterus, okay? Then right here is your vagina or your vaginal canal. 
that's probably the one you're most familiar hearing, right? So the cervix is a gateway to the uterus. And when the baby, if you have a baby in your uterus, it's gonna come out only when the cervix says it's ready and come out, okay? So you can't get anything up in the cervix, but the cervix will let a baby out if it needs to come out when it's time, okay? So you might be thinking, what does this have to do? What does babies have to do with the menstrual cycle? Well, a period is when you lose the blood that has lined your uterus. Okay, so why would blood be, why would there be blood lining your uterus? Let's talk about that. When an egg drops from the ovary, it travels down the fallopian tubes into your uterus, okay? And your uterus is working to make a really, really comfy, cozy landing spot for that egg if it wanted to turn into a baby, right? Now, um, it's making a home for the egg to grow and have a soft bed to turn into a baby if it's gonna turn into a baby. If it's not going to turn into a baby, this comfy, cozy lining that your body made inside the uterus has to come out, right? Your body says, okay, we are not having a baby, so we are going to take this comfy, cozy bed for the baby, and it's going to leave, go down through your uterus, through the cervix, out your vagina, and that is a period, okay? So it comes out as blood, and it will happen about once a month. So your body says, we're gonna drop an egg, goes down, doesn't turn into a baby. Your body signals it's time to clear out that extra lining, and that is what your period is. This is all of our internal anatomy. Now let's talk about our external anatomy. So right here, this is your vagina. Now, you do not pee out of your vagina. You actually have three holes. Okay, so you guys can actually turn the page. There's another diagram. You have a, it's called a urethra. That's where you pee from. We have our vagina, which is where we have our period from, and then we have the hole that we poop out of. So you can pee when you're on your period. You can poop when you're on your period, and they're not coming from the same place. Is everybody adequately giggling now? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to laugh. Okay, so every girl everywhere, this is what they have right down here. Again, it's about the size of your fist. And these ovaries, it's not all laid out like this. Your ovaries kind of tuck in behind it. And they're working really hard during your menstrual cycle to take care of your body and to make, uh, to make sure that your hormones are doing what they're supposed to be doing. So how much blood do you lose during your period? It's not as much as you might think. It's only a couple teaspoons. And when you first start your period, it's not actually going to be that much. So I wanna take a minute, we're gonna ask the moms to think about their first period, okay? Think about how old you were, don't say anything to your daughters. There's a little, um, there's a little white paper underneath the kits. And then in, in the kit, the, your girls have a pin. If you wanna grab that pin, write how old you were when you started your period. Raise your hand if you wanna guess how old your mom was when she started her period. Sammy. 18. 18. Naomi, how old were you? 13. 13, 13. Sylvie, how old do you think your mom was? 13. 13. Amanda? 12. 12. Emily? 11. 11. 11. You were 11. Yeah. Elsie? 13. 13, Lauren? 13th birthday. 13th birthday. Oh, Happy wow. birthday. Um, Crystalline? 16. 16? Were you 16? 16. Okay. Damaris? I think I was 11. How old was I? I was 12. Okay, I'll start by telling my first period story. I was 12 years old. I was in sixth grade. I came home from school one day and I went to the bathroom and I thought, I pooped my pants and I didn't know it. And I was mortified. And I went to my mom and I said, I pooped my pants and I didn't know it. And she said, I think you would know that. And I said, no, you need to look at my underwear. So I went and I changed my underwear and she said, oh no, you did not poop your pants. You started your period. And so I, that always stayed with me because up until that point, I had thought you're gonna bleed and it's gonna be red. But when you start your period, it's more than likely that it'll probably be a brown color. And that's just older blood. And it's totally normal. Do any other moms have any stories like that? 
Any first period stories you want to share? I can. Yeah, Erica. Well, I was 11, and it was the day of my best friend's pool party. Oh, no. <laughs> and so we were getting ready for the pool party, and I went to the bathroom and saw something in my underwear and went crying to my mother, not knowing what it was. And she's like, it'll be okay. You probably won't even, you don't, probably don't even need anything. And she's right. I just yeah. wore my swimsuit. All's well that ends well, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? Does anyone have another first period story they want to share? Amber? I can share mine. I was at my grandmother's house. Thankfully, I had an older sister who told me what to expect. I was at grandma's house and I didn't know what to do, so I just go through the cabinets because I know I'm supposed to have like a pad maybe, and I get these pads out of the, and they are like, this giant <laughs> and this thing, and I'm like, what is going on in my life right now? It's <laughs> like putting it on, and I'm like, oh, was not excited, was not excited at all. <laughs> so tonight we are going to go through this first period kit, so that when you start your period, you know exactly what to expect, what how to handle it, and that you will have no problems that you're going to be ready for it.